Okay, is this working? Yes. Okay. Let's start it. Okay, guys. Uh, first thing I would like to show is the rig. I try to keep the rig as clean as possible. Like, it's really simple. I'm just going to select this. It's a really simple rig. Nothing fancy, nothing. No scripts, just rotation, translation. The most complex thing I have here is this. It's just a simple IK. <clears throat> what else? I have some controls on the face. It's really, really simple. I like to spend the less time possible on the rig so I can spend more on the animation. <clears throat> okay, other thing. You start a new Maya, and it's really important to work with reference instead of working directly with the rig. It is opening, yes. One Maya. Work it. Should have have opened this before. Uh, front is the same thing. Same rotation controls. Oh yeah, another thing that I like to to keep is uh, I like to parent the feet to the base. And the uh, the other things is parented to the to the bone to the body, so I can do like that. Okay, my other my is opening. Um, always uses reference. That's really really helpful. Um, is this one? What I'm doing right now is that I'm I'm using um, I'm loading the file here. But uh, I cannot modify it. And any modification I do on this one, I just need to update, and it's going to be updated on this guy. Let me hide this. Let me hide this. So anytime you need to change a rig, uh, it's possible to do. Um, another thing I would like to talk before we start is that I like to animate direct on the spline. A lot of people say that you need to, to animate on a stepper mode. Let me show you. I'll put a key here, another one here. So when you add a key, uh, I'm using the auto key feature, okay? So when you add a key, it automatically creates this. Okay, so automatically make a curve. Um, stepper mode, something like that. So it will keep the the frame till you hit your key. That's good for blocking, uh, but that brings you another problem when you hit spline after. Usually, it's really really frustrating. So my suggestion is always keep spline. If you want to block, you can do like that. You can create one keyframe each um, each key, so there is no spline into between, and you are still uh, working on a spline mode. And then you can slide it where you want. Um, is there anything else to prepare the scene? Uh, ah, important thing: thirty frames per second. See, mine is on 24. Go for 20, which it's here. Ah, 30, sorry. 30 frames per second. That's normally uh, the frame rate used in the games. So if you work on 30 frames, you will know you don't have any problems. If you work on 24, sometimes it's working here when you put in the game, it's not going to look the same and you'll what I what I'm doing. What I'm doing wrong. Keep on 30. It's, it's 
better way to keep it. Uh, what else? I think we can start it. Oh, see, when I change it, it is out of uh, out of the frame. If that happens, it's easy. Just come here, snap it, and then it will, it will snap. Um, that may be a problem when you have a lot of keys and you scale down. Like if you have a key here and another key here. Let's, let's consider that. And if you scale them, like you scale everything. We're going to have this right two inside of the same. I don't know if that's going to be a problem here, but let's try. Nope, it didn't work. It didn't. Not yet. Let's try again. Maybe I managed to do that. Nope. Well, sometimes when you do this, uh, your keys. Are going to be like that. You have two keys on the same keyframe. Like it's one on six point. Uh, no, it's four point nine and five. Avoid that. Okay. Try to keep just one each frame. I think that's a good thing. Uh, I think for the start is a good one. I'm gonna um, try to cut the videos and make it smaller 